piles of trash stacking up at a popular North Texas restaurant. When nearby businesses started complaining, our Jeff Paul went to check it out. And while we were there, a surprise even for us. Jeff Paul is in Deep Ellum with the story you'll only see on CBS 11. It's one thing to see bags of trash piled high. But when it's at a place where people eat and it's been sitting stacked up for days in the rain. It's terrible. You know, it's not something that we're proud of. Ali Bagad is one of the owners at this Fuzzy's Tacos in Deep Ellum. When I saw those pictures, I didn't even know what to think myself. It got so bad, the city paid the restaurant a visit today. Anytime the fire marshal comes, yeah, you're kind of freaking out. He says with limited space, they partner with a nearby business to use their dumpster. That got shut down a couple weeks ago because it was being overused by a lot of restaurants. So they dumped it into the back patio until they could figure out a solution. This isn't on our employees. You know, I, I, I take full blame for this. Fuzzy showed us its kitchen. City records show it passed their latest health inspections. Bagat says they've now agreed on a deal with a nearby charter school to use its dumpsters moving forward. It's definitely something that uh, we're glad that we fixed. Uh, we're glad that's not going to be a problem anymore. But some restaurant owners say that's not true. They claim Fuzzy's employees have been dumping trash in their bins without permission or paying for weeks. Oh, not really. But I mean, God you know, disagreed. The, the I know what we're doing. You know, I, I know that we're, we're trying as hard as we can to be a good neighbor out here. But this video recorded just today appears to show the restaurant's GM walking across the street and dumping bags of trash behind Brick and Bones restaurant. They know it's wrong and it's continuing to happen. Owner Cliff Edgar says they never gave Fuzzy's permission. That is Fuzzy's right there. So we reached out to Fuzzy's owner, Ali Bagat, again. Just today you said you fixed this, and then we go back and there's, there's trash that should have been dumped. Bagat told us the GM thought he was dumping it in the charter school's bin, which is a block away, and chalked it up to a mistake and miscommunication. I don't look at it as miscommunication at all. I just look at it as disrespect. Edgar says if Fuzzy's truly wants to be a good neighbor, something needs to change. You're not just reflecting bad on your own business, you're reflecting bad to the neighborhood. So people are offended by it, and it's embarrassing. Now, the owner of Fuzzy's later texted us this evening saying that he called Brick and Bones to apologize for what happened here with these dumpsters. He also is vowing to work with other nearby business owners to try to move forward from this situation. They tell us, though, tonight that they will believe it when they see it. Reporting live here in Deep Ellum, I'm Jeff Paul.